Every once in a while, a military rifle comes along that looks literally like nothing else out there. Well, there's no better example than this futuristic looking rifle that is far more capable than you might imagine. Often misnamed the AUG, the Steyr AUG is now one of history's guns. History remembered and sponsored by the Civilian Marksmanship Program. AUG stood for Army Universal Gewehr, or Universal Army Rifle. And when the Austrian Army adopted the Steyr AUG as their full-fledged primary battle rifle in the late 1970s, it was unconventional, to say the least. It was nicknamed the Space Gun because it's radically different than anything else that had ever been seen before. It's very non-traditional. In fact, it was as if Steyr had thrown out the old rule book and started with a blank slate. And when the Austrian army adopted this peculiar space gun as the STG-77, it replaced a very well-respected and very traditional battle rifle. Austria was using the 7.62 NATO, the FN FAL. That was their main battle rifle, which of course is all machine steel, very reliable, it's worldwide renowned. But this took advantage of modern manufacturing techniques. Lots of polymer use in this, aluminum forgings. In 1977, they even adopted translucent polymer magazines, and these are extremely durable. But at the heart of all the modern manufacturing was a decades-old concept known as the bullpup. Uh, it's a bullpup-type rifle, which means the magazine goes in the buttstock behind the fire control group. And what that does is that reduces the overall length of the rifle. This is a 20-inch barreled gun, but it's as short as, say, a 12-inch barrel conventional rifle. But don't let its compact size fool you. This sleek little rifle is nothing less than a full-size select fire battle rifle in a reconfigured package. With the magazine in the back, the barrel is longer than just this. The barrel actually travels all the way back to here. You can see just how long the barrel is. This is a 20 inch long barrel, which is longer than most of your standard battle rifles of today. This rifle is a conventional design that has the magazine well in front of the trigger group, right? So this is a Colt SP-1. Everyone's familiar with this. This gun has the same length barrel as our Star AUG example. They're both 20 inches long, but here's the significant difference. It's considerably shorter and overall length. And a full length barrel isn't the only advantage to the bullpup design. What it does is it allows for an extremely well balanced rifle. The weight out here is minimal. You just got a little bit of barrel. So it makes it very easy to maneuver. It's light and quick to point because there's very little muzzle weight to it. Chambered in 556 NATO, the AUG is flat shooting to over 300 meters in both semi and full auto fire with a rate of up to 750 rounds per minute. But when you're ready to go full auto, don't bother looking for the fire select switch. It's all in operator control. You go so far back, it's semi-automatic, squeeze it harder, that's fully automatic. Built into the swept lines of the AUG is a very unique sighting system. It has an integral optic uh, actually made by Swarovski. This optic's kind of famous for its reticle where it's got just a solid black ring they called the donut of death. And what that meant was if your target, your average size man, was less than 300 meters away, he would be larger than that circle and you could just hold that circle right on and, and make your hits. Despite being a radical departure from the generations of main battle rifles that came before it, Austria's space gun has advantages that couldn't be denied. This was probably the first really commercially successful bullpup design. It was adopted by many nations all over the world. And as exotic as they seemed in 1977, variations of the Steyr AUG are still produced today and continue to earn the worldwide respect they've always deserved.